everyone and welcome back to my channel if you are new here then i welcome you if you love watching handbag videos and a little bit of this and that then certainly hit the subscribe button but let's go ahead and jump into this video so y'all as y'all can see by the title today i am coming to you all with a what's in my bag but before i go ahead and dive in y'all i just have to pause and just say that I truly appreciate every single one of y'all just taking the time to click on my video and watch my content. I honestly can say that when I jump on and get in front of the camera, I am just so happy y'all to do these videos for y'all. And then for me, my life is super duper busy. So outside of YouTube, I am a full-time mom. I do have a full-time job. I have so much to do, but let me tell y'all, when I wake up early in the morning, that's like my quiet time. And I just love it because I get to sit down and just look back at your comments and respond to you. And then when I get off of work and I just had a very, very long day, I like to just chill and look at your comments too. So I just wanna thank you for commenting. You just don't know how much that means to me and how much that brightens up my day. Like you guys are just amazing. So yeah, I just wanted to come on and say that y'all cause I, I just had that on my chest. <laughs> But y'all, today I am coming to do a what's in my bag on this gorgeous bag right here. I did recently reveal this bag to y'all. This is the Boldrini Isla bag in this color bone. And y'all, I have thoroughly been enjoying this bag. Like she is just so, so good y'all. I will say that since I've had this bag, I've moved in and out of her twice already y'all. <laughs> And that is actually speaking a lot because y'all know I have so many bags that I can be gravitating to. But for some reason, I just keep coming back to this bag because she is just so, so good, y'all. So I just had to come on and do this what's in my bag on her. I do want to bring her up in a little closer so that you all can see how I adorned her with this gorgeous scarf. This scarf, y'all, I did get from the Coach Outlet store and it is in the color Petunia and I just really like it on this bag. I love this color of this bag, y'all, because I can really just play around with my accessories and just have fun. I'll go ahead and pop in a photo so that you all can see how I how my setup was the first time I carried her. I really, really love that setup, y'all. It was so, so nice. And then once I finish showing y'all what I have in this bag today, I'll pop up my setup for this um, look as well. But yeah, y'all, she is just so, so good. And she is such a big mama, y'all, but she holds so much and she's such a comfortable carry. When I carry this bag, I mainly carry her on my shoulder and literally I am just able to just throw her on like so and go. Like, it's just so good. And y'all see that? Oh, I just love it. I just love it. That scarf is just so nice on this bag. So, um, yeah, I really don't have any cons really about her because I've made it to where it is a comfortable carry for me. Know that when I first revealed this bag, I did mention that this front part I would just leave open because it was just a hassle to have to open and close it and all that jazz. I will say though, once I put my items in here, y'all, this little flap here is much easier for me to open and close. So as y'all know, I do have this bag stuff and look, like I'm literally able to just use one hand and just push that in. So yeah, I'm very, very happy about that because that was a little bummer. Like I was like, why is it like, why am I struggling to close this bag? <laughs> but yeah, that is like no issues for me now. And y'all, I did clean this bag up and I was able to pretty much like get the little marks that I saw on it. So I'll do another close up so y'all can see it. And here it is from the side, back side. I did try to stuff this bag too when I first got it and I was able to get some of the um, shape back to the side of the bag too. So yeah, I'm really pleased about that. But let's go ahead and get on into her y'all. So let me open her up and I'll show y'all how, how I have her packed at a glance. So this is pretty much how she's looking. This bag was pretty much an everyday carry for me. So I'll start with the back y'all. And again, this is how the back looks at a glance. 
And so, yeah, I just love it. When I look down in this bag, y'all, I just get so happy because my, my accessories are just the cutest, y'all. They are just the cutest. I did use a lot of pouches this go around because I do want to really make sure that I'm preserving the interior of the bag. So the first thing that I have in here, y'all, is my Juicy Couture wallet. And this wallet is in the color Tarte, I believe. Um, let me see if I still have the tag inside. I got this wallet like uh, about two years ago, y'all. I don't have, not Tarte, maybe it's Taffy. Maybe it's in the color Taffy. I, I really don't even remember the name of this wallet, y'all, and I don't have the tag. But this is how she looks. So really, really pretty. I love this, this wallet, y'all. It's just so good. And then this is how I'll show you she looked with the Twilly. Yeah, the Twilly is what really brought all of my accessories together, y'all. So yeah, it was definitely a look. <laughs> Such a look. So then the next thing that I have in the bag, y'all, is this little pouch right here. This is my Dooney and Burt small wristlet. I think this is the small keratin, if I'm not mistaken. I got it years ago, y'all, um, when I first started collecting Dooney and Burke, but this is actually in the color magenta and this color is so gorgeous y'all I used to own a zip zip satchel in this color and I ended up getting rid of that bag because I think it was on me I didn't know how to really pack that bag so I ended up wonking the zipper and there was just no going back and I didn't like the look so I got rid of that bag but I'm telling y'all if Dooney comes back out with this color in pebble grain leather in a style that I love then I'll definitely get it because this color is very 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 gorgeous so this is actually acting as my um makeup bag okay this is acting as my makeup bag and let's pause out and look at the tassels here I know my sister Phoebe y'all she loves tassels <laughs> so Phoebe this is for you y'all by the way Phoebe she has followed me for years too I think she probably has followed me ever since I started my YouTube channel but she recently just started making YouTube videos y'all so I'll leave her link to her video below if you love handbags and all things do need then go and check her out she is just everything I love 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 her personality but um the first thing that I have in here y'all is my Bobby Cru Bobby Brown crush oil infused gloss in the color free spirit and y'all this gloss right here is now my favorite brand like I really love the Bobbi Brown brand so I'm glad that I gave it a chance um and then the next thing that I have in here is my Juvia's Place lip liner in the color Cola I have my um, mascara and this is the Lacombe Lash Idol. I think I may have gotten this as a free gift, y'all. I ran out of my Ilia mascara, mascara, so I'm using this. And I don't know how to feel about it. I'm not the biggest fan of it. Like, let me show y'all. I love the brush on it, but I don't like how it, um, I feel like there's not enough product. Do you see the brush? Like, I love, I like how it's made how it kind of swoops up like that but I don't know hmm. I just started using it so I'll have to really just uh, keep using it and see how how I like it after I'm all done with it but as of right now I'm not the biggest fan of it um, so the next thing I have in here is my Ilia clean line gel liner and this is in the color Twilight I have my benefit brow cosmetic um, brow pencil I swear by this thing, y'all. This is actually another fave of mine. Staple that I have to have. I have my little brow shaper or a little razor. And then I have the um, Juvia's Place Lip Color Cocoa. And I also love Juvia's Place's um, lip products too, y'all. They're really, really good. So that's another one that I love. And then I do have my Kiss Pink Gel um uh i'm drawing a blank nail glue <laughs> oh man y'all definitely had a moment there and then um this this little pouch y'all it actually comes with the pocket so within the pocket i did just slide my mirror in there my little coach butterfly mirror and i love this little thing y'all it did come with a wristlet i think that attached here but i don't know where i did with it but let me see if i can find the tag here 
No, that tag doesn't really have anything on it. Don't y'all hate that? Like when the Dooney tags don't really have anything on it. Yeah, I want to say this is the small Carrington though. I want to say. But it does come with that slip pocket I mentioned. And then it also comes with four card slots on the other side. Uh, let's see. The camera will pick it up. It comes with four card slots there. Oh, I do have one more thing in here, y'all. My little pink tweezers. Yeah, so super cute. So that's everything that I had in here. And again, this added as my little makeup pouch. And then the next thing that I had in the bag, y'all, were my keys. So I have really just been enjoying my little um, Louis Vuitton sit spring key holder, y'all. I've been just rotating it into all of my bags. And I just decided to just start decorating it to the color of my bag. So I ended up um, hooking on this little Victoria Seek key so that it would match everything else with the bag. And then of course my pepper spray is hanging on there. And then on the inside are my house keys and my car keys. So yeah, I thought that was cute. I thought that was really, really cute. And then the next thing I have in the back is a little hair tie, little pink hair tie. And then I also have um, this thing right here. I actually purchased this off of a coach Facebook group last year, I think. Um, this was supposed to have been in the color fuchsia, y'all. The same color as my rose. Do I have it over here? No, I don't. Okay. So it's supposed to be the same color as my robe, y'all, but it is not. It is more of like a, um, mm, like a hibiscus almost, kind of. But it's still really cute and I still put it to use. So this thing I am actually using, y'all, just to hold my coins. So that is what's in here and it is a coin purse. It actually even has a hook on here, so I could actually hook it to something if I wanted to. But yeah, I really like this thing. So even though it's not the color that I thought it was going to be, I have still been using the heck out of it. And let's see here. I have a little nausea medicine there. It's supposed to be in the back pocket. But that is pretty much everything, y'all, that I had on the back side of this bag. And like I said when I revealed it, y'all, this bag does come with a back zip pocket. It does also come with this little card slot, too, that, but I didn't use, utilize the card slot. In the zipper pocket, I pretty much just put, like, my medicine and stuff. I did have my little um, toilet seat cover in there, and then I just placed, like, some medicine in the back, allergy pills. Y'all, tis the season, and I have to take that. <laughs> the pollen and everything has really been getting to me lately. Um, and then... I have more medicine and then I also have the tag to the bag. More medicine. And that's everything in that pocket. So there's that pocket there, nice and deep. All right, y'all, so now we're gonna move on to the front of the bag. And so this is how the front of the bag looks. Now with this front part, y'all, it does come with a zipper closure. So if I wanted to, I could zip this closed, but just for easy getting in and out, I did leave the bag unzipped and I had no issues in that, in that way. So within the front part, y'all, I just have this little Juicy Couture Raspberry Tart um, little coin purse. And within here, what did I, oh, okay, okay. So within here, I had some chewing gum. I had a mixed berry fruit and grain bar. I had some sore throat drops and some vitamin C drops. Oh, there's more of that. And then I had the tag that came with it. So it's a statement heart in the DeBoss logo raspberry tart. So this was actually a gift too, y'all. I was actually gifted this by Tina from um, You Change Your Hair Again. She gifted me this a couple of years ago, y'all. And I love this little coin purse. Like, I definitely do get my use out of it as well. And then the next thing that I have in here is my toilet tissue. I have both of my chargers in here, y'all, my iWalk chargers. So I have the pink one. There we go. And then I also have the silver one too. Yep, 
So I have to make sure I have these in my bag because you just never know. You just never know. <laughs> so I like to be prepared. And then the next thing I have in here, y'all, are some wet ones. Yeah, as y'all can see, like I was literally able to fit everything that I needed in this bag. Now, right now, y'all, it is feeling like winter in my house. <laughs> so that is why I am wearing this vest. But outside, y'all, it is pretty toasty out there. So I have started by back carrying my Mario Badesco facial spray. And this is with the alloy herbs and rose water. This is definitely a staple in my bag, y'all, in the warmer months. I do also usually have my fan with me too, but I don't have it in the bag right now. Um, and then I have this Clinix. And then I also had this little pouch in there too, y'all. This little pouch I actually got from Bath and Body Works as a free gift a few years ago. And this is pretty much just acting as like my little catch-all pouch. So within it, I have my um, eye dry relief. I have my lens cleaner, lens, lens cleaner, which is almost, maybe it is empty. <laughs> yeah, I might need to go ahead and leave that out and add more. I have my soap sheets. I have my champagne toast hand cream. My poopery. Y'all, I don't know why I did not just put a manicure set in here, but I just have my clippers loosely in this little thing, as well as my nail file. And then I don't know why I have this in here either, because usually I put my medicine in my back zip pocket, but I did have my little allergy medicine and my ibuprofen in this little container. And then I have these floss picks. Tied to go pen. Yeah, this little thing holds a lot. I really, really love it. Um, I have my ink pen. And then I have my fragrance, y'all. This is a new fragrance to me. I picked this fragrance up a couple of weeks ago, y'all, and I am absolutely loving it. It is the Victoria's Secret Heavenly Dream Angel. And this stuff smells so, so good, y'all. Like, I love the Heavenly Original scent because it has like a powdery scent to it. And this one has that same DNA, but it has like a fruity kind of smell to it too. Like, I really, really love it. Like fruity floral. So yes, I had to pick this up y'all in store and I plan on getting a bigger bottle too because yeah, that stuff is really, really good. So that's pretty much everything that I had in the main uh, front part. Now this part does come with a little cell phone pocket there as y'all can see. And in there, I just stuck my sanitizer in there just for easy access. So here is my sanitizer, and it's also in the champagne toast. And yeah, y'all, that is that. So as y'all can see, this bag is looking nice and clean on the inside with the exception of the glitter from that pouch. That's the only thing, y'all. I really like that, um, that Bath & Body Works pouch, but the glitter really does rub off of it. So I have to shake this bag out um, once I am done with it. But yeah, y'all, that is that. I just wanted to come on and show y'all what I have in my bag because like I said, y'all, I have really just been enjoying this bag. Like, she is just so, so good. And like I said too in my video of revealing this bag, if you wanna get your hands on it, then definitely check the TJ Maxx website because the Bodrini um, brand is always popping up on there and they're always popping up with different styles. So I am just so glad that I was able to get my hands on this. I love this bag so, so much y'all. And it's so crazy because like I said in that last video too, when I had it in the tan color, you would have thought that I would have reached for that bag, but I did not at all, y'all. That bag did not appeal to me whatsoever. But this one right here is like a whole different vibe. Like, I just absolutely love it. <laughs> and so, yeah, y'all, that is that. That concludes this video. As promised, I'll go ahead and pop in a photo so that you all can see how all of my accessories tied together. I just love it, y'all. The pink with this bone is just absolutely stunning. It is so, so gorgeous. I'm just in love. And I'll go ahead and pop in a video too so that you all can see how this bag looks on me as a top handle. But like I said, I did only carry this bag on my shoulder and it was just great. It was, it was good. <laughs> 
So yeah, y'all, that is that. That completes this video. I do hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, then certainly give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Bye.